Well, this will make you want to check your bank twice. Let's begin. Now, of course, I'm sure we've all dreamt of how wonderful it must be to suddenly wake up and see a million quid in the bank and think of all the things we could do with it, you know, apart from obviously buying the obvious thing of buying a mansion and a decent car and things like that. I myself might buy the world's biggest space hopper, then use it to go to work and raise a giant middle finger flag before quitting and bouncing off into the sunset. But in reality, it's probably best at least to go to the bank just to make sure everything was okay. I mean, you'd think that, wouldn't you? Unless, of course, you're like the lady in this story in the Daily Star who decided to spend the lot in Instead, and then got in trouble because of it. Strangely, she didn't have to pay it all back. Or much at all, really. I wonder what she must have been thinking. Oh, I must have won the lottery. Hang on, I haven't played the lottery. Oh, who cares? The money's all mine. Now, if you click that subscribe button down there, I will do my very best to try and get you knighted as a thank you. The article says that a single mum on benefits splurged £22,000 after the whopping sum was randomly deposited in her bank account. Margaret MacDonald, who is 23, went on a luxury shopping spree after she discovered that £43,750 had mysteriously landed in her account. The stunned mum decided to purchase clothes and shoes for her two kids before treating friends and family to gifts. MacDonald was slapped with a suspended jail sentence after pleading guilty to 13 counts of theft of cash from the Bank of Ireland in March 2013. The mum has been ordered to pay back 860 quid within 18 months. £860 out of a £22,000 debt. That's got to be one of the best types of loans I've ever heard of. And yeah, I know it wasn't her fault, but she had the opportunity to own up, didn't she? So surely she should pay the whole lot back. Over a longer period of time, though, of course. Judge Cormac Quinn told her at the time, if it is too good to be true, then it is too good to be true. The mishap occurred after the Bank of Ireland customer was handed an incorrect IBAN number by mistake, and it was reported the customer had transferred £44,450 into his account from a foreign bank account. But he was given McDonald's details by accident and subsequently received the money on March the 6th instead. But as soon as the bank realised it retrieved £23,000. McDonald was arrested and accepted full responsibility for the crime and told police she thought the cash was hers. But the thing is, this would have never happened if full banker checks like of the name, for example, were done. And if anything was different like either the name or the reference, then it wouldn't have gone through, would it? Or maybe actually while we're at it, a food checks could also be done on Liz Truss's energy price cap, or bandage, or plaster, or whatever you want to call it. Because in this video, I'll tell you about a few things they've not actually probably thought of which could more than likely affect us all. Anyway, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.